Hello everyone, I'm Hannah Jasmine Santos and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we will make an experiment number one called not gate. Um, this is a experiment in my subject, logic circuits and switching theory laboratory. So I'm currently studying in Technological University of the Philippines, taking the Bachelor Engineering Technology major in Computer Engineering Technology. So let's start. As we start our experiment, number one, not gate, the equipment and material that we need to use is number one, the 5 volts DC power supply, then number two, one piece 74 LS04 hex inverter gate, as you can see. Okay, then the number three is the one piece 5 millimeter red lead, then the next one is one half watts 220 ohms resistor. Okay, the next one is the one piece SPDT switch. The switch is this one. Okay, then the one piece breadboard. Here is our breadboard. This is the positive and the negative sign. Okay, and next is the jumper wire here. And of course, the alligator clip and the minute pliers here. So let's start the experiment. So for for the introduction, it says that the NAT gate has a single input and its logic symbol is shown in figure 1. The output is the complement of the input. If A in the if A is the input of the NAT gate, its output will be NAT A or NAT A. The small circle or bubble at the output O, the NAT gate is the standard symbol representing inversion or complementation. NAT gate is commonly called inverter. As you can see, so this is the logic symbol for NAT gate. And here in the input, if we input 0, the output will be 1. And we input 1, the output will be 0. So let's do it in our breadboard. So I will put first the hex inverter gate. After we put the hex inverter gate, I will show you the this is the hex inverter. As you can see, there is one to fourteen numbers, and here in the procedure, number one, construct on the breadboard the not gate circuit shown in figure A. So this is the one we will construct in our breadboard. So let's try. Let's do it. After we put the hex inverter gate, we will now put the resistor that connects in number 2. So here, our number 1 is here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. So I will Put this on the number two. Okay. So after that, we will put the five millimeter red lead. So here, this is the positive, and this one, the short one, is the negative. We will put the positive side here. Okay. Then the next one, um, we will connect this negative side to the ground. As you can see, this side is the negative side, so it is the ground. 
then we will connect the number 14 here in the positive side. After we connect that one, we will now put the switch. And we will connect the center of the switch in the number one of our inverter gate. After we connect that, then the next one, we will connect the other one to the negative side. And the other one to the positive side. Then, um, after that, it says in the figure that the number 7 also of the hex inverter is connected to the ground. Here is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here, we will connect that to the ground. Okay, then let's check. The number 1 is connected to the center of the switch. The number 2 is connected to the resistor and to the positive side of the LED. Then the number 14 of the hex inverter is connected to the um, power power supply. Later we will put the power supply, we will connect it later. Then the negative side of the lead is connected also to the ground and now we will connect the positive and the negative side and we will turn on now our power supply So the volts we need in this experiment is only 5 volts. We will connect the alligator clip. The black is for the negative. Then the yellow one is for positive side. Then we will connect the positive one is this side. And the negative one is this side. As you can see, the LED is turned on. But we, but when we turn to the other side, the switch. But when we turn the switch to the other side, it will be turned off. Now we have done the figure 1, we will now go to the next figure, which is this one. So here, the only changes we can see is here in the hex inverter gate, the number 2 and 3 is connected. Then the number 4 is the one who connected. And number 4 is the one who is connected to the positive of the LED and to the resistor. Then, so the rest is at least. 
and now we will try it on our breadboard. We will put this connection and we will change the connection of the LED resistor to the hex inverter. We will put the connection to the number 4. Okay. the number 2 and the number 3 okay they are connected now and we will put this resistor to the 4 1 2 3 4 and we will put this again the positive is on the resistor side then the ground we will connect the negative side of the LED to the ground Now we are done to the figure 2. Let's try it. Let's open again our power supply. Let's try what will happen. So as you can see, when we turn the switch, to this side, the LED will turn on, and when to this side, the LED will turn off. Now we can see the difference between the figure 1 and the second figure, because in the figure 1, when we turn the switch to this side, the lights are on, and when the switch turns to this side, in the figure 1, the lights are off, but here, the LED is on. Okay? Let's turn off the power supply. And now we are done in the second figure. The next figure is this. Okay, construct on the breadboard. The NAT gate circuit shown in figure C. So the changes here, as you can see, the connection here in number 4 and 5, this is what we need to do. We have the connection here and again we will change the connection to the resistor and to the 5mm red LED. We will now connect that to the number 6 of our hex inverter and we also need to connect the number 4 and 5 but the rest is at this. So let's do it again, the third figure. So I have here the connecting wire. We will connect the number 4 and 5. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These two. Now they are connected, the number 4 and the number 5. Let's back the resistor. We will connect the resistor now to the number 6 of the hex inverter. So again, the positive is in the side of the resistor. And the jumper wire will connect the negative side of the lid to the ground. So let's try our third figure. Let's connect this one to the positive and to the negative. What happened here also, 
is like what happened in the figure one because the switch is in this right side and when we turn the switch to the other side the lights is turned off again that's right We are finally done with the figure 1, figure 2, and figure 3. So that's all. I hope you learned something new about this experiment. And I know that it will help you also in your application regarding logic gates. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.